Hey everyone, I just wanted to make a quick afternoon update video. The time right now is 1.27 p.m. Eastern Time. As you can see, the value is overlapping to the lower end, to the lower side. We have a couple of weak lows here. The EF is one tick each other from each other, so that's weak. It also was the halfback at that time when it bounced off from. So EF is also because of the halfback weak. The halfback moved higher in G and F period. So that's weak. Uh, you have the AB lows weak, the C lows weak. AB is one tick away. It's also from the overnight session, uh, low from the overnight session. The C is right at that prominent, naked prominent POC, which is, uh, let's see, what level is that? That's the 4434. And if you see that, it's exactly 4434. So that makes it weak. A lot of weakness on the downside. EF, everything here is weak right now. Um, however, if you look at this uh, market profile, it entered the previous day's range. So you have conflicting information like is it weak or because of these references or is it strong because it got back into previous day's range and even actually the FG high is weak because it's one tick away from each other, right? So uh, tricky, tricky, really tricky. but. Um, I, I am a little biased on the downside because of these weak lows and the overall trend is down. Um, however, it's very risky trading this environment. Um, if you, if I at all take a trade, I might just take some micros, micros puts for 44.34 level, 44.40 level, and just play it safe. But um, yeah, this is how you know when you should trade big and not trade big, right? Uh, but go with the trend, go with the value. Those are your better trades and you have weak references. Okay, that's how you really uh, get an idea of your odds working for you or not. Okay, all right, guys, stay safe and hope this video has helped. Take care. Bye-bye.